There is an animal thought to have first appeared in North America 40 million years ago, and it's still here and on the Gulf Coast. It is something like a sheep, something like a camel, but it is neither of those. Its young are called creas. It is formally designated as Lama Glama, end of lesson, beginning of story. You're 10 years young, you look very good. Kathy Wilbanks has always loved animals. She's a well-loved girl. They're natural, they're who they are, they all have different personalities. Oh, poor Ginger. And as a veterinarian's assistant, this Sarasota native gets to see plenty of furry creatures. I'm sorry, you were a wonderful girl, yeah. But it's the animals at home that Kathy Wilbanks lives for. Yes, just gotta get a towel and wipe your nose. Kathy and her daughter Carly are crazy about llamas. Yes, the Oak Rest Farm in Sarasota County breeds and sells this South American relative of the camel. He knows he's going somewhere. But the Wilbanks consider two of their llamas, Serendipity and Paintball Pete, simply priceless. It's Kathy's day off, so Dippity and Pete are getting ready for a visit to the Friendship Senior Center. Both are certified pet therapy llamas. And what the llamas do is just open people's hearts. And they're so passive, but yet friendly in a gentle type of way. They're sort of at peace with everything they do. How Kathy and Carly got interested in llamas, well, it was a fortunate stroke of, of serendipity. There you are, okay, good boy. Happened 14 years ago when Carly, raised around horses, leased a llama for a 4-H project. She learned how to show the llama. She went to the state fair and lo and behold, they put a sign for sale on her llama. Well, she came running to me and said, Mom, Mom, they're selling my llama, but I got enough money. At eight years old, I had enough money saved up to buy an ATV or I could buy a llama. And that was an easy choice, so I decided to go with llamas. And who couldn't resist a cute face? I said, what on earth are you gonna do with a llama? And she proceeded to tell me, and I said, nope, write it out. Well, number 15 was, I'm going bed to bed in nursing homes. 14 years and countless nursing homes and hospitals later, right. mother and daughter, wholehearted believers in llama therapy, have arrived at Sarasota's Friendship Center. Good morning. As they joined in the center's adult daycare program, Serendipity and Paintball Pete appeared to be right at home. Yes, he'll come right over to you, Betty. Over the next hour, the gentle llamas calmly moved from one senior to another. He watches your toes for sure. Is it great you seeing these guys here, are you? <laughs> How old is he? He's 11 years old. We've had him since he was six months. And he just, this is his thing. He loves he coming loves, to visit likes, people. He loves to have people. This is a llama. Oh, oh my God. They are just very inquisitive and they're kind and they sort of have like what I call an old soul. They, they look for new things to see. It's like for an adventure for them. They're always happy when they come to new places and see people. And from the smiles around the room, Looks like people are happy to see the llamas. The manager of the elder daycare program at Friendship Center is Debbie Morrill. It's something exciting and different. Who would expect a llama to walk in? And many of our clients have, have different levels of cognitive impairment. And what happens is it's the element of surprise. It's the, it's the sensory to be able to touch them, to hear them, to see that they're gentle and they're loving. Besides his obvious warmth and affection, it seems the 225-pound llama named Dippity also enjoys an ear for music. You want a llama kiss? Kiss on the cheek. Oh, hello there. One of the most remarkable traits Kathy Wilbanks has observed in llamas is a sixth sense of knowing when someone really needs their love. Some people they won't want to go too hardly, and other people, 
they want to go to and, and they'll even sit down beside them on their own accord without me asking. So yes, I think they have this innate ability to know when someone needs that extra attention and they're willing to give it. Today at the Friendship Center, the extra attention that Kathy Wilbanks mentioned was directed toward an elderly woman who just entered hospice care. Betty, you are special, I tell you what. You are so special. As Carly followed the lead of her five-year-old llama, Pete, the interaction with Betty was true and tender. It was an uplifting morning for 22 Sarasota seniors, but it was time to go. Thank you. A lot of fun. After their goodbyes, Carly and Pete and Kathy and Dippity headed back outside. The kindly llamas had done it again. Another good day. Let's go home. With her day off from the vet clinic winding down, oh Kathy Wilbanks, like her daughter Carly, savors every minute shared home with again, two favorite llamas away from Oak Rest Farm. If I did not have to work for a living, this would be my, my goal, is to go to nursing homes and let people experience these creatures. The eyes say it all. They have the deepest eyes. They have like a, an endless soul.